Well, hey guys and gals, what's up? It is Hex, and we are back with this modern house. Modern house numero tres, number three. Modern house number three is what I'm calling this. Big modern house number three. I've done lots of modern houses, but nothing this big. I don't know if I'm going to build one quite this scale in the future, because it's just, it's, it's, it's massive. Like, it's just massive. Today, what we're going to be doing, though, is we're going to be working on the inside a little bit. And I've already got some of this done just because of the massive size of this build. Um, I wanted to kind of have a little bit accomplished already so that you guys didn't see me. Like, this probably took me the length of uh, one of my normal videos. But anyways, what I wanted to do was just show you what I've done here. So, over against this wall, this far left wall, what I did is I... Um, started right here, so like one block away from the wall here. I guess we could go like that, and that would be just fine. I don't see why that would be a problem. We're going to go right against the wall here. And then one, two blocks, and then I did some netherite here, and this is going to be our stove. Now, if you don't have access to netherite because you're doing this in survival, use something else. Use some polished blackstone or iron blocks. Do not try to use netherite <laughs> as a stove because that's dumb. Um... <laughs> It is really hard to get like one ingot, let alone nine, let alone 81 <laughs> or whatever number this is going to be. Uh, nine times three, six, I guess that's 54. <laughs> that's a lot of netherite. Anyway, um, yeah, so then uh, a three wide stove like that. Um, and then three of these. And then right here, what I did is I did black stone stairs around to make a sink. Three again. And then I have a three wide refrigerator made of netherite here. Again, if you're in survival, go for the netherite. If you are in, sorry, if you're in creative, go for the netherite. If you're in survival, go for something else like blackstone or um, you could use this stuff, whatever. Um, whatever you think makes a good fridge. And then over here, I would go with these. And then I have uh, three, so like three blocks above that, three tall, um, these are going to eventually be cabinets. And then right here, I did a little oven hood. So basically the blackstone comes down here. And then two blocks above, I put um, two stairs like this, and then a center block like that, two stairs over there. And then I just took the blackstone straight up. And for now, what I have is I have it like that, but you could go like that to make it so that the um, glass doesn't connect. I think that's probably sufficient. Or you could even go and do something like this. Um, yeah. That looks good. Okay, then right here in the middle of the stove, three blocks away from that, I did three more of these uh, warped stripped thingy ma bobbers. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of those. And I just did a three by three thing. This is going to be kind of like our little island um, right here. Now, now, of course, this kitchen is not done. I haven't added any of the details. I just did kind of the layout, which is what usually takes me the most time, to be honest. Um, yeah. Then above this block right here, two blocks above that, I put two shrooms and then right here, two shrooms. And then above here, two shroom lights like that. Okay. Then right here, one, two, three, four, five away. Um, and then six away actually from the center of this, uh, island right here, I put in this table. So this table is made of blackstone slabs. So if I crouch, you can see that there's a slab there. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine long. So I guess it, once you place this center one right here, it's going to be four on that side, four on that side. And then I did the center as I'll explain what's going on there in a minute. Um, as uh, the center right here, I did. Um, these warped thingies like this. And then I just went around with the slabs and then I put little slabs here. These are gonna become our chairs. I just wanted to lay out where the seats of the chairs were. These are not the finished chairs again. Okay, uh, right here I did a couple of couches. You can't even see them because it's so dark. So let me throw in a few shroom lights like this. I'm just gonna put one, I'm just gonna go like this for now just to kind of give us some uh, light above it. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for lighting though. So just bear with me for now. This is just so you guys can see. Okay, like that. And then basically what I've done is I've built a massive couch um, here and here. So this couch is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks away from the chair line. And it's actually starting, okay, so uh, let me back up a little bit and go to the door. So if you come in the door right here, what I did is I extended the, um, this is polished basalt, the top of the polished basalt. Uh, I extended this out one, two, three, four, five blocks in a five by five square at, as like kind of like the entrance here. So that's our sort of polished basalt entrance. And then right here, one, two, three away from that, and then one over and one back, we have one, 
two, three, four, five of these uh, crimson uh, stripped thingamabobs. And then it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, and then one, two, three, four. Is this ten or is it nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess it's ten. You could do, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. Okay, and then what I did is I did two wide of these in here. Now, I might change out. I'm not sure if I love the color on this. I'm not sure if I love the size on this, but basically the problem is that this room is so big that it needs big stuff to go in it to make it look full. Otherwise, like if I did like a couch like the size that I normally do, um, it would be like so tiny. It'd be like, why is there a tiny couch in here? <laughs> Anyhow, that's that. Then I mirrored one over here, and that's as far as I got so far. Wow, that took six minutes for me to explain all that. But hopefully if you're building along, then you can see kind of what I did. Uh, the first thing that I'd like to do right here is I'd like to kind of, uh, let's see if we can make like a, a light fixture sort of thing, like there and there and there. Like, oop, I wanna move this over like that. Is that right over the top of that? Yes, it is. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is take these chains. We haven't used the chain block yet. And I'm gonna do chain blocks hanging down from those. I'm just gonna see if this looks cool. I think that looks pretty nice, actually. Pretty, ni pretty nice. <laughs> I really like that, actually. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Okay, all right, so we're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna do it this way just to make sure that it's right above, like that. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. Okay, so I sound really happy right now, but I just got word that my father-in-law has been rushed to the emergency room. So why am I here doing this? Because the emergency room only allows one visitor. And at that point, this point, that is going to be, I think either my mother-in-law or my wife, uh, whichever one because my mother-in-law, like four or five days ago, went into the emergency room because she had a heart attack. So that's just crazy, right? How crazy is life right now? How crazy is life? How crazy is life? So I'm just thinking about them right now and hoping that everything is okay and that they're gonna be fine. And that, um, do I like this? I think I do, I think I do. It's pretty cool. These are just some blackstone buttons. Haven't used any blackstone buttons yet, and I really like that. Makes these lamps kind of stand out. Pretty sweet. Okay, that's good. That's good. So hopefully he's okay. Apparently he was having chest pain. He had his leg and arm swelling up. It's kind of strange. Kind of strange. It's very interesting that like heart attacks, they have like when you think of a heart attack, you think of like the movies, right? Like, oh, he's having a heart attack. Like he's keeled over he's bent over he looks like he's having a heart attack he's having massive chest pain like they don't do that like when i had my heart attack uh my i just felt like i had like some really bad gas and like really uh like in my um esophagus kind of thing it, it felt like um felt like when you eat like really hot chilies and like your stomach doesn't like it and like yeah that's what it felt like so very strange very strange the uh the old heart muscle how it presents, but I'm hoping that they're gonna be, hoping they're gonna be okay. All right, I really like these shroom lights. They look very 70s to me, which I, I'm kind of I'm kind of digging that. All right, I'm gonna try putting that there to give. Yeah, that works out. That works just fine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do some iron, uh, iron trap doors. Let's grab some iron trap doors like this. We're just gonna go ahead and throw some like that. That makes that. Oh, that definitely makes that look a lot more like a stove um, stove top there. And then, then what I'm gonna do, is we're gonna do something here. Um, let's see. I need an item frame and I need some redstone. Redstone. Deuced, the dust, I want the dust. That's pretty good. Did I not get the item frame? Uh, what the heck, there we go. All right, I've been having trouble lately with my inventory, of course. <laughs> 
So what I've downloaded is I've downloaded the new armor stand um, thing from. Let me let me type this. Yes, give. There we go. Now I got the book. So the armor statues data pack. I I downloaded the new one for 1.16 armor statues seven uh, version 2.7. You can get it from the Vanilla Tweaks website. Um, Azuma voids. Azuma voids. I think that's how you say it. Um, with an X. Uh, if you watch Hermitcraft, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, website. Anyways, it's vanillatweaks.com. Vanillatweaks.com. And it is uh, on there. It's called Armor Statues. And you can download it to get this thing. And basically, um, it's meant for manipulating armor stands, but the new one actually makes it so you can make invisible item frames. So I think that we are actually going to make some invisible item frames. Like, oh, why am I doing it this way? No? Huh. I was thinking about... Well, we need round things. What do we have that's round? Round, round. Oh. Did I seriously type in round? You guys, I am so smart sometimes. Okay. Need something roundish. Uh, here we go. You guys ready for this? It might not quite look right. but they're gonna look pretty good. What do you think? What do you think of my burners? Okay, so I think what I can do then is I can take this and go to, let's see, we're gonna open the book. And we're gonna go to um, item frames invisible. And that totally worked. Okay, try it again. Let's see. No, maybe I have to be standing like right next to it. There it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, that looks kind of derpy. <laughs> but it does kind of look like a grill. Like if you're looking at it from the right direction, it's just kind of oblong, isn't it? <laughs> well, maybe we won't do that. <laughs> maybe we won't do that, but... That's the kind of thing that I want to start doing. Okay, um, instead what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and put in a torch underneath here. We're gonna do some torches like that. And we're just gonna replace this. We're gonna go like this. This will be like the front of our stove. There we go. That's pretty good. And I think that I'm just gonna let the netherite blocks be the top of the stove at this point because the invisible item frame thing didn't turn out quite how I wanted it to. <laughs> okay. Okay, I am gonna try this though. I am gonna try this. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get um, some polished blackstone pressure plates and we're gonna stick it in there and we're gonna go like this. Do you guys remember this old trick? There we go. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand next to it and we're gonna go invisible item frame and we're gonna try it. Let's see, item frames invisible. Okay, there it goes. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do that to the rest of these and see how it looks. Okay, with just two to go, I thought I'd show you what I did. So. I was using the pressure plates, but I switched over to the slabs because the pressure plates looked a little bit too thin. And I think these uh, look really good. <laughs> I think it looks really good. Um, so if you're on Java Edition, yeah, you can do this. But if you're on Bedrock or something, you might not be able to make invisible item frames. I don't know which versions allow what sorts of things. And so I, I just don't know. So um, anyway, what I think that you could do is you could um, just leave them off or you could just put like a button on each one to be the pull. You could definitely put buttons on these instead of these things. Um, Cause what I did here is I took the, um, the slab and I moved them to the top like this. And then you just go here and you go item frames and then invisible. And sometimes it doesn't work the first time. So you just kind of have to like you know, you kind of have to move around a little bit to get it to work. But fortunately, it worked there for me a couple times. All right. That's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Um, I think... Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Ooh. I think what I'm going to do is just make a couple of windows right here. So I'm going to break that open and this open. Should we go to the floor? Heck yes, we should go to the floor. I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to grab some of this uh, white stained glass and throw that in there, there and there and call that done. <laughs> there we go. I like that. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to do some skylighting too. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go. But I was also thinking of like, what if we did some tiles in here, like made this floor like look a little different. So I'm, I think I'm going to go to the basalt blocks. And I wonder if this basalt is going to work for us. I wonder if this basalt is going to work for us. Why do I keep doing that? There we go. Okay. There we are. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is put them in that way. Ooh. My th hope is that this is looking kind of like little round stones, like the ground is like a stone. But is that looking like carpet? Because that's the last thing I want it to look like is carpet. I don't know. It could kind of go either way, huh? They could kind of look like cobblestones and it could also kind of look like carpet. I guess. Let's see what happens if I do a slightly larger area. I don't know, do I like it this way better? Like that definitely looks like, well, no, I like this. I like this, we're going with this. Um, I'm gonna say these are stones. <laughs> Cause that's what I would like in here is this like kind of like a stone type of look uh, for the ground here. I could have gone with like, I guess stone or maybe those, um, I might still do that. The smooth stone blocks, that might have been a better choice actually. But I'm trying to use some of these little stinkers here. There we go. Like this, all right, let's see. Break that one, put it right there, okay. I'm trying to use some of the new blocks. Yeah, that looks like stone. Good enough. Okay, there we go. That is done all the way in there. And I grabbed out a couple of these to go ahead and put in some, just a little bit of maybe some flowers. Kind of thinking something like that is gonna be the most effective, like some, some plants. And then maybe right here what we have is like a, a soap for the sink, maybe like a little soap box. And then maybe right here we've got um, another flower. Ooh, you know what flower I like to put next to the refrigerator? I always do this one. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that one, but I do. Does that look tacky? It kind of looks tacky. I don't know. Anyway, next what I want to do is grab out a um, an end rod for our sink. You guys know that I like to do end rods for sinks like that. Okay. And maybe I am going to get rid of that one because that looks tacky. And so does this. And so does this. I don't know why those are looking tacky to me, but they are. Okay, let's try, um, let's see, item frame like this. No. Why did the item frame not go onto my thing? That drives me crazy. Okay, there we go. That and like that. And then we're gonna do some black stone, um, some polished black stone there and there for two buttons. And then we're gonna, oh gosh, I moved the book again. What is wrong with me? I'm always doing that. Okay, function. Uh, AS give, there we go. Okay, I got it. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see, right click, item frames, invisible. There we go. Right click, item frames, invisible. Yes, that's really good. That's really good. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. You know what? You know what we need. I th I think that this is going to solve a couple of problems that I'm having right now. Number one, it's going to. 
Yeah. It's going to make it look like there's like a nice countertop. That's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, the other problem that it's going to solve is it's going to solve the fact that now that I've put this on here, I don't have to actually decorate the tops of these because we've just done like a nice clean um, countertop. Maybe this is like that Corian stuff. Yeah. There we go. And I think that the kitchen is done enough. It's done enough. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is move on to here. So we're going to get our... I wonder if we could do... No, those aren't going to work. Okay. So we're going to do... Wow. Why do I always go for that thing? Okay. Door. Trap door. There we go. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and take and put these behind here to make our chairs like this. There we go. Beautiful. Oop, nope. There we go. Like that. Okay. That's good. Yes. Very nice. That's a very nice. That's very nice. Just like that. Okay. Cool. And then maybe at our sort of like a little bar stool ish area, we could go um, like this. Now, do we want to do the same chairs there? Or do we want to do something else? I kind of think we want to do something else. Hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, this kind of work-ish, but I think I want to do like, um, let's try this. Okay. Let's do like the, the blackstone wall with a blackstone pressure plate on top of it. I'm going to try this. I just want to see what this looks like, okay? Uh, no, one, two, three four and then we're just going to leave the end off like that and that's going to be good okay and then these are just going to be like some little stools mm. do i like it i do not what if we did that see that looks better because it's not attached but it's not quite what i want Okay, what if we did that with like um, the warp, no, the crimson trapdoors, like this. Uh, yeah, that kind of works. That kind of works. I like it better than the chairs, let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. I I think I like that. I think I like that. I don't quite like the height of it, but um, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> what are you going to do? So that works pretty well. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Next, what I wanted to do was to kind of do some, um, I wanted to do something right here. Let's see if we can pull this off. Two and three. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. I'm going to go across like that. And then, oh shoot, but that's going to make it so that the outside is going to have to be this blackstone stuff. Do I care? I don't know. I don't know if I care or not. Okay. But this might actually look pretty cool if I can pull this off. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to get some... Um, what is that stuff called, you guys? Soil? The soul soil? Yeah, the soul soil. And we're just going to go... Boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to go with the... Um, 
what is that other stuff called? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's called a flint and steel. That's what it's called. <laughs> flint and steel. Flint and steel. Where are you, Mr. Flint and steel? Flint and steel. Flint and steel. There you are. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so next what we're going to do, though, is we're going to get some glass. Some black stained glass pane, like this. And we're going to go ahead and just put some glass in front of this, this guy, like this. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And then we're going to maybe go like this. Uh-huh. Or maybe we'll go like that. Does that look okay? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it. That's pretty cool. And then I'm going to go like right here and we're going to put like a an end stone rod right there. And then we're going to put on top of it a, uh, a black stone pressure plate like this. Kind of make ourselves like a little lamp like that. And then I'm going to do um, a little mushroom. There we go. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, we have a nice cool little fireplace right there. This is the hot seat. <laughs> That's the hot seat right there. Okay, but I like it. I like it. That's really cool. I'm liking that. All right, let's move on to this area here. Uh, let's move on right in here. We're kind of running out of time already. But let's see. Um, you know what I think I want to do? No. I'm just trying to think this through, you guys. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do um, some glass. I'd like some glass, and I'd like the glass to be in the middle here. Now, oh, this needs something, and we need like a rug. We need something in here. Okay, so we're going to go with, um, hmm, oh, you know what would be kind of cool? <laughs> this is going to be kind of cool. I think I've got an idea of what I want to do here. See. All right, so right there. I'm just trying something, okay? I'm just trying something. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. I'm kind of freaking out, to be perfectly honest with you, because I don't know if this is going to look right. This stuff really isn't that big, though. Look at that, like, cool looking. Okay. No, it's not done, I promise. All right, we're going to take this, this black stone. We're going to go around it like that. What do we think? I mean, you come in here. Uh, yes. I like it, but I don't like the um, I don't like the soul fire stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do regular fire. So we're gonna turn this into netherrack. Netherrack. There we go. And I would do campfires, but they just put up so much smoke. You know what I mean? So we're not gonna do campfires. And we're gonna grab this. I got rid of that book again, didn't I? <laughs> He's nuts with the crazy book. There we go. That's better. Okay, and then we're going to come and we're going to go like... We're going to put some glass. Is that gray glass? I want the black. Yeah, it is gray. Okay. Black stained glass. Here we go. That. Like this. And it's going to go around here. Haha. <laughs> That's fun. That's a lot of fun. Okay, and then we're going to do like 
a second layer of it. There we go. And then we're going to take the black stone. We're going to grab this. We're going to go over the top of that. It's going to be like an awesome little centerpiece. Right? Man, I love it. 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 Should we do that and go around like this? No, we should not. Yeah. I really like that. That is really, really cool. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. But what I don't love is the color of this thing. So we're going to change this. Remember I said I was going to change this? I'm going to change it. Okay. So we're going to go with the uh, black, polished black stone again. And, ooh, you know what? Oh, but I was thinking about using the chisel, but it has, like, the, the pig stuff. All right, we're going to go around here like this. And I wonder if I should make an entirely black couch or if I should make black and green like that. I'm leaning towards black all, like all black. That's what I'm leaning towards, you guys. And we're running out of time here. We are running out of time for the episode, you guys. Can he build this quickly? Okay, so what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and did the black stone all the way around, and then I did the warped slabby things there, whatever those are called. And then what I started doing is I thought, well, maybe this needs like a little ring. So I put some gray concrete powder around it, and then I grabbed out this light gray concrete powder because the dark gray was too dark. And I started putting it around there, and then I just kept going, and I just kept going, and going, and going. And what's interesting is this looks amazing with the black stone and the warped and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our bling edit tool, and I'm going to replace all of this white concrete with um, the light gray carpet. The light gray, uh, <laughs> light gray concrete powder. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start right here. Are you ready? We're going to go like this. We're just going to go here. And we're going to come all the way to here. Like this. Okay? Like that. And then we're going to go uh, replace. We're going to do set block. White. Oops. Concrete. And it didn't do it. Okay, well, um, I must have typed something wrong, but basically I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again and see if I can get it to do it. Okay, there we go. We got it. I think that looks absolutely phenomenal. I love it. I absolutely love it. Here's what we're going to do next. I need a couple of lights in here. Uh, we need them over the couches. Actually, should we do it in, like in the back of the couch here? I'm not exactly sure where to put them. Like that. I think we're going to go there. And then here. So it's like two blocks from the corner like that. Yeah, that's good. All right. And then we're going to grab these. Uh, grab these. There we go. Stick those on the ceiling above. Like that. And then we're going to grab the chain, like this, put chain there and there. That's nice. And there are a couple of lights there. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. And I think we're going to have to call it the end of the video because um, we're out of time. We are out of time. There we go. There we are, like that, and like that. Uh -huh. And do, 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 do. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our little buttons on, and then we're gonna be done. We are gonna be all done. Oh, I did wanna do some more skylights in the ceiling, didn't I? Maybe I'll punch those out and then we'll be done. Here we go. 
Yeah, the ceiling needs something. Definitely needs a little something, doesn't it? Okay. Mm. I really like how like kind of cavernous it is in here, like opposed to like how bright it is out here. Dude, that looks so good. Looks so, so good. So, I'm so happy with it. Okay, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is like open up this one because what I'm trying to pretend that these are is like sliding open window doors. Like the whole kind of wall sort of like slides open, you know? Of course you can't do that in Minecraft, so the only way we can simulate it is by breaking the glass. And then that kind of simulates that those doors are open. Because what I wanted this to be was to have it um, like if this was a real house, be able to open this entire wall up pretty much to the exterior um, when it's like a nice day out. And then when it's, of course, not a nice day out, you can close all the windows and be done with it and say goodbye to the exterior of the house. But for now, I think that having these open makes sense because um, it's not raining. I could make it rain, I suppose. Make it rain! Yeah, that is so nice. That is so nice. I would live in this house for sure. I would live in this house for sure. Okay, let me let me think about skylights. So let's see if we go with um, if we do the white stained glass. I just want to try to see like if it looks okay. So if we did like a skylight in the ceiling above the kitchen, it might go like this. Like that. Eh. Okay. If we do it double wide, gotta have the double wide. There we go. Yeah, that brings in some much needed light. Okay. All right, we're gonna do that there, and then we're gonna do one here. This. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Yeah, that's gonna be good. And then like this. I was afraid that it was gonna be too bright, but it's really not because it's just not. It's gonna work. Okay, that's that's pretty cool, actually. And then I kind of want to do something around this guy. I think that he needs something up here. So I'm just going to go like that and then like this. You're like, like what? We can't even see that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you can't. All right, so then we're going to come like this. And I think I'm just going to do like one block away from it like that all the way around. and do like a huge weird skylight all the way around. I don't know if that's even like <laughs> engineering wise even possible what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> but uh yeah. We're going to we're going to give it a go anyway. We're giving this a go. I'm not sure if I love it cuz I kind of liked how it was dark and then there was the fire but I might like it quite a bit. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see very soon. But it kind of gives like a, a center point to the house, right? Like it's the, the fire pit in the middle is a very much a center point, I think. Yeah, and imagine like if this was dark, like what that would look like. Okay, I think that um, what we need though is a little bit of sanity. So we're gonna go like this. and just put in diagonals here in the corners. And I might thicken them by one block on each side. But that actually looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I think that looks pretty darn cool. That looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see what it looks like when you like walk in the door. Um, yeah, that's amazing. I wish the ceiling had a little bit more texture to it. So what if we went like around this 
with like some because it needs like um, some not that texture but dimension it needs some dimension there we go how's that that's good and then what if we did that like around these skylights uh, oh that's weird That's really weird. Huh. Um, which one do I like the best? I like it the two blocks away, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, we are way over time probably now. <laughs> I was like, we're just about right on time. And then I decided to do skylights. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Maybe maybe we'll add a couple of things in here next episode. But I feel like this is pretty stinking cool looking. I really like this. I really like it. It's been a bit of a challenge for me to like overcome the size of the house. But the nice thing about it is the fact that I can build some pretty big stuff that looks cool. Like this fire pit, pit thing would not work in any normal size Minecraft house. <laughs> like, like it is a massive massive deal. You know what? It needs like some more thickness, I think. Maybe like this. I think that's what it was missing, you guys. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I think they both look good, actually. Uh, if we went like this or on the inside, I think this would be pretty cool. Like this. Just double this up like that, and double that up, and double this up, and double this up right there, and double that up. Yeah, that looks stinking amazing. Like, that would not work in any normal Minecraft size house. <laughs> not at all. And I really like these lights with the chains. That's pretty fun. That is pretty fun. I don't know if they're quite in the right place. Um, I feel like I need to move them in, but... Like, if I was sitting here reading, like, I'd want the light behind me. So I think that that, that, that would work. That's going to work. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to call this episode done. But we might add a few other things in here. Like, it'd be nice to have, like, some plants in here eventually. Um, but next time, hopefully, we'll be able to work on this area and maybe the bedrooms and be able to get um, a good chunk of this done. I'm, so I'm thinking to hope... Hopefully no more than three episodes. I think four for an interior would be a little bit too much. But yeah. Yeah, I'm really liking this house. And don't worry, we'll deal we'll deal with the top eventually. Maybe uh, I'm just seeing if this work, works for the exterior. The top. Yeah, that's going to work. Just add in these. Of course, it kind of messes with your mob proofing. But if you're doing this in survival mode then you might not want to outline them, just leave them like that. Oh, they kind of look a little bit funky, but um, yeah. Pretty happy with this, though. Pretty happy. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of How to Build in Minecraft. I hope this has given you some inspiration of how to decorate a big giant house, maybe how to use this color palette a little bit better. Um, the light gray carpet really goes well with the blackstone and the warped and the crimson and stuff. So yeah, anyways, it's been a lot of fun making this particular episode. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. But more importantly, I hope you're having an amazing day and God bless.